who is paying these prices? But I went over to his solds and look, $22.49, $16.99, $39.99. This guy is doing thousands of dollars a month in marbles. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And today I wanna to talk about 13 of the best toys to resell on eBay to make profit. And I wanna talk about diversifying your store, adding things like toys and games in there that will make your store have a better sell-through rate and make more money. Uh, before I get started though, it is the holiday season. I figured I'd show you a little behind the scenes uh, of decorating and getting around the holiday season as a reseller and a couple little tips I can give you one in particular to make your life a little easier. Let's take a look. All right, so currently I have one half of the Wrecking Crew hanging out with me, Roscoe P. We got done doing a little decorating, my giant stocking and uh, the tree. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple little things uh, that will hopefully be a little tip for you, uh, especially as you're uh, working through the holidays into 2020 that will make life a little bit easier on you. All right. So so we did put up the tree, of course. We got Disney, we're from Florida. We got a Disney topper, it's just what's right. Got a little more decorating to do on the tree, a little bit more to add to it. Don't mind the light kit or the other light kit. Um, these are just for when I'm shooting videos, which I'm gonna do for you guys in a minute. And uh, just for when uh, we're taking photos. And so we'll put them down and move them around. If you don't have a light kit, I'll link them, of course. Uh, they're fantastic. And I have used them for the better part of four to five years. Okay. Uh, so you guys can see we're currently working on um, remotes and this table, this is my tip for you guys. This table, if you've never had one, it's fantastic. Look, it's a table that pops up. You get plenty of storage where you're working on stuff. You can put more in other drawers. You can do things with supplies if you wanna work sitting right at your desk that you have a fantastic way to do it. You could even take photos up there if you wanted to. You could put a white um, poster board here lay it down, and then you would have a backdrop to take uh, photos with. So it's fantastic. If you've never got one of these tables, I'll try to find a link to it um, to try to find this table. It's fantastic. The name of it, at least, I'll, I'll give you guys. But yeah, you could take the light kit, and we do this sometimes. Take it, pop, point it straight down, and then you have a perfect kind of white backdrop if you have a white piece of paper to put down on top of the table. And then when you're done, you can just, oops, you can just move this thing down. Look, check it out. See that? And then it goes down. And then when you're ready to continue your working, you can sit down at it and you're like, oh, I want to work on my computer right now. So you have to kind of do it evenly, but you just pop it up. And now you have a workstation, right? There you go. And it moves down and up. Okay, anyway, so that's uh, kind of my tip for you guys today. Storage, working, photos, light kit, and decorating for the holidays. Okay, so since we covered that, I wanna tell you guys, diversifying your store, end of 2019, 2020, super important. You gotta add things like remote controls. You gotta add things like the toys that we're gonna cover in just a second. We're gonna go over to my computer and cover these toys. I'm gonna to give you 13 of them right now. And at the beginning of the year, I'm putting together an entire new set of sourcing guides. They're gonna to cover toys, electronics, shoes, games, the whole deal like I did in 2019. If you didn't get mine in 2019, now is your chance. You can grab the bundle before the end of the year. It's $19, the lowest it's ever been. And if you purchase before New Year's, when I get home, New Year's Day, whatever day we go out, you will get my 2020 editions for free. When they go out in 2020, you will get them emailed to you for free as long as your order is in by New Year's. I'm gonna select the dates. I'm gonna select all of 2018, ending at midnight on uh, New Year's Eve. And I'm gonna send out for free all the 2020 editions to all of the 2019 orders and uh, the people who wait and it's 2020, they'll have to pay more for the bundle. So make sure you get that, I'll link it below. Um, it's 700 items, it's 11 total guides right now. It covers shoes and electronics and toys and games and video games. It tells you everything that you wanna look for and what to pay for them and how to make your store more diversified. So definitely grab that bundle below before the end of the year. Okay. So 13 toys, uh, this is gonna diversify your store and give you a better sell-through rate. Remember, 
Some people want 1,500 to 2,000 clothing. I think that you could do a couple hundred clothes that are picky, that are selective, that are great, that you don't have to worry about sitting forever. You know, good items that sell pretty, pretty uh, fluidly, pretty regularly. And then you can have 50 TV remotes and 50 toys and 50 video games. And all of a sudden those will do even more than the shoes and your store is just doing awesome because you got stuff moving, you've got some selective picky clothes. You don't have to build a store of 2,000 pieces of clothes. If that's what you choose to do, by all means, but I just don't think that it's necessary. Clothes are great. I preach clothes, I sell clothes, I've taught people how to do clothes, but I think you have to diversify your store. I teach you to diversify platforms. You have to diversify products as well. Three Ps, uh, products, platforms, and people. And the people is the social media side that we talk about. So let's go over to my computer. Let's learn some of these toys. And hopefully this helps you guys out right away. All right, so the first item I'm gonna cover is action figures, primarily superheroes and Marvel. You guys know with the popularity of the Marvel series uh, that Marvel stuff does really well. So anything you can find that is like uh, the normal, you know, Captain America, Incredible Hulk, uh, Iron Man, all that sort of stuff from Marvel, but also the other ones, um, anything Spider-Man, Batman, um, you know, anything you would recognize from superheroes, uh, even the X-Men, DC, Marvel, both companies, um, Action figures in general, uh, if we scroll down here, you could see some X-Men just in the 90s. A lot of six sold for 30 plus five. They took a best offer. So instead of 35, they maybe got 25. But for six little figures, this might be something you find. That looks like a Captain Planet one almost. Uh, this is something you could almost find at a garage sale. Somebody put out a little box of action figures for 50 cents uh, or a quarter a piece. And all of a sudden you bought six of them for a dollar fifty or $2 or $3 and you flip them for 25 and 30 bucks. It's not too bad, right? We keep scrolling down here. And we have a Marvel Superheroes Star Wars squad, a lot of 47 Hasbros that sold for $67, um, less the best offer, so maybe 55 or 60 bucks. Um, we've got a little play school, a lot of six. Again, they sold it for 15 plus four, so they got almost $20 for this entire uh, little lot here. Um, we got two DC superhero girls. They got 1583, not bad. Little play school ones here again, 30 for Venom and um, for Iron Spider and Venom. Vintage Marvel and DC figure lot of 16. They sold for 44 plus 15, so 54, 60, $60 for 16 figures. I mean, something again, yard sales, flea markets. Think about estate sales, buckets of toys. Look, another 19 Marvel superheroes sold for $117. Uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff to look for as far as superheroes and action figures go. So that's number one. All right, number two is going to be Lego toys, primarily like even the individual pieces. Legos by the pound are okay, but after you spend the shipping, it's a lot. But look at dumb little things like this. A Lego train base, 6 by 24 square cutout. Look, this is $9 plus. They sold this little square for $12.25. Imagine if you could buy buckets of Legos and pull all these individual little pieces out. If we continue to scroll down, look, little red plates, they sold for 15 plus 4. They sold it for 19 like $18.98. Look, we have three little Star Wars Lego Star Wars figures. Look at that. Almost $16, right? We have some pieces from Winnie the Pooh lot. They sold for 13 plus nine, 22, over $22 for these little pieces. Uh, a little Lord of the Ring Hobbit, Ori the Dwarf, 20 bucks for his Lego. The construction worker, little accessory with his signs, he sold for uh, $6.95, uh, so seven, 10, 20, $10.20 for that little piece. You can see, look, another little Owen Grady, he sold for eight sixty, eight seventy, right? You can see four little green plates, almost $12. There is some money to be made on these Legos. They're very, very expensive. Three little Lego wheels, $15. Uh, four Lego reddish brown rock panels. They sold for, you know, seven bucks. It just little things. Look at these. 38 authentic Lego minifigure base plans, white, black, and orange, and gray. Look, twenty four, almost $24 for that set. Are you kidding me? Legos always on point. Number two. All right, number three, you've seen me sell a bunch. I picked up 12 of them from a flea market for $10. The guy wanted a buck a piece. I found 12. I was like, I'll give you 10, uh, 10 bucks for all 12. He took it, and I ended up selling them for over $150 gross. I can't remember the net, but it was like 80 bucks. Um, just the older ones, really, really good. Uh, this Ric Flair one is super rare. It's LJN. If you haven't seen the Netflix documentary, 
called The Toys That Made Us. Look at the wrestling one. The rest of them are good too, but look at the wrestling one. LJN is the company that made Rare Toys. Uh, this Ric Flair selling for 108 bucks is not surprising, actually. Um, if we scroll down, we got some vintage LJN Titan rubber uh, wrestlers. They sold, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, eight of them. They sold for 33 plus 13. 46, what, $46, right? $46 for those. We've got another set here that sold for 120 after shipping. You keep scrolling down. We've got, you know, other lots. We've got a Rey Mysterio that sold for $10, just one little figurine. Um, you know, we've got a Nails that sold for 25 plus three. We've got Carlito that sold for 22. We've got the, uh, the Million Dollar Man sold for 15. And so the point is you can buy these again. Somebody might be selling these for 50 cents or a dollar and you can make them a deal and buy a bucket and all of a sudden you have a lot that you can put together and potentially sell for 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, you know, 10, 15 bucks a pop. Here's a Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He sold for $9 and this is something you're paying 50 cents or a dollar for. Uh, you got Rick Steiner at twelve fifty. You got the, the Mountie for $8, $9. Um, you know, and, and you can make six, seven, eight dollars a piece on these action figures. They're easy to list, easy to store. They're easy to ship. They are really easy items and you will make good money on them. If you buy 10 of them and you pay a buck a piece and you're 10 bucks in and you can sell them all for a net of eight to $10, you can make 80 to hundred bucks profit. And these sell pretty quick too. So that is going to be, uh, our number three is, um, action figures from the WWE or WWF WCW they were called back in the day wrestling action figures all right number four is replacement pieces for games so I pulled up hero quest which is one of my favorite all-time games it's a role-playing Dungeons and Dragons style uh, game it's from the 90s it's from 89 and 90 I was a little kid but my brother had it and uh, I now own it today it's worth a lot of money uh, you can sell it uh, complete for about 200 bucks. If you have it, I own it. Uh, used, heavily used. The box isn't in great shape, but I own everything. Um, the pieces for this, just look, these six Gray Hero Quest pieces, gargoyles, these sold for $30 for six little pieces. Scroll down, look, $45, $55 for the replacement parts and pieces. You get the, the figures, the little uh, furniture, and the cards. Look at this. Two little sorcerer's tables and tombs, $14. Somebody that's missing these out of their game will need these because they're important to the game. Uh, the dice, if somebody's lost the dice, these probably sold, uh, they were listed for $29.99, best offer, $24 plus five. So somebody probably took a best offer and got like 20 bucks for the dice, just the dice. Here's the furniture again, uh, selling high. Look at this, the elf pack of the mirror, unpainted, missing one spell card, 900. That's probably false, but it is worth a couple hundred dollars. Um, the cards with the heroes on it, somebody sold for $37. Why? Because this is the most important part of the game. You need the four hero statues and the four cards to go with them. Uh, the lot of 21 replacement figurines, again, $35, pretty crazy. Um, some more, you know, you, you get the idea, 20 and $30 for just these. A lot of games have this so you know keep an eye out here's another one i just did a search for replacement game pieces um you know some monopoly pieces 15 dollars. we keep scrolling down we got some tokens here that sold for 18 that's probably from sorry or something like that we've got some classic sorry cards 14 dollars uh some monopoly planet earth editions 13 dollars. we keep scrolling whoops go off of that i didn't mean to open that we keep scrolling down. We got the Game of Life. They sold these for $9. Just something little stupid things like this that you can pick up. Um, 2004 Disney Seen It. They only got 6 bucks for those. But uh, here's a set of Monopoly game pieces that they got $10 for. Uh, we keep scrolling. Some of them are cheap, and you'll have to check. We got some Monopoly paper money that they sold for $23 for the money. Pretty good. Okay, so game pieces. That is going to be um, one, two, three, number four. So number five is Hot Wheels cars. The older, the better. I put in vintage just to give you an idea. Look at this. One individual 1969 Redline Heavy Chevy sold for $26. Here's one that sold for $69. Here is a 68 that sold for almost $30. Look at this. A lot of 70s. They sold for almost $400. Um, here's a 1974 Gremlin that sold for nine bucks and change. Here's a lot of three that sold for 64. Some of these older Hot Wheels you got to keep an eye out for. Um, they're crazy expensive. The older, the better. 60s and 70s, 100% expensive. If you can get some of the the ones that are you know original 67, 68, 69, they're big big money. Here's uh. 
1975 one that sold for 14 here's a 76 you can see the 76 kind of drops off the 80s does well uh also because they have some of those iconic cars like um this vintage firebird you get the stuff like the ferrari testarossa that you would have seen in like uh, magnum pi um you get like some of the the 80s um you know cadillacs and things like that they can sell really well school buses do well corvettes look this 68 corvette sold for 31 so the older the better for sure. But Hot Wheels in general, look them up. Individual cars, you can buy a bucket at a garage sale. Maybe somebody sells it to you for 20 bucks. Okay, so Hot Wheels and cars. Next is Littlest Pet Shop. The Littlest Pet Shop, I don't know a lot about it. All I know is it's worth a lot of money and I've sold a couple of them. I've never came across a lot. But if you do, look, some of these individual pieces, seven, eight, 12, $11 just per character. Some of these lots, look, Littlest Pet Shop, the lot sold as is. They sold this as is for like $13. I've come across some of these that are like lots of, you know, look, authentic, lot of 10, $16. Um, here's a play set of 15 that they got 20 over $28 with shipping on. Here's one that went for over $60. So you can find these, get them in little lots, little buckets, and uh, you can make yourself a few bucks on Littlest Pet Shops. Now, the next one is going to blow your mind. This is marbles, and this guy actually has 1,100 marbles in his store. His his store name is Cat Eye 1212. I don't know who this is, but has a top rated store with free returns, free shipping, um, and whatnot. 1,100 of them. Uh, he does do auctions and bids, a lot of bids, a lot of auctions, but he also has a lot of buy it nows. And if you look, some of these marbles look 22, 74 dollars, 30 dollars. I was like, who is paying these prices? But I went over to his solds. And look, $22.49, $16.99, $39.99. This guy is doing thousands of dollars a month in marbles. Thousands and thousands of dollars a month in marbles because he just knows what to look for and he sells the, look, he sold this marble for $400. He sold, there's one marble on here he sold for $800. I, I can't find it right now, but there's a $150 one. There's a lot of them for 109. I mean, here's one for 150. Uh, it's in, it's insane how much money some of these marbles are. So, anyways, long story short, marbles are absolutely supposed to be added to your list if you don't already have them on there. Okay, moving on. That's gonna be what number three, four, five, six. That was number seven. So this is gonna be number eight, which is Pokemon anything. Pokemon is hot. It always has been hot. It's been hot since I was a kid. So you're talking the last 25 years, Pokemon has dominated uh, the scenes, maybe going on 30 years, probably more like 25. I was probably like eight to 10 years old. Okay, so uh, the plush does decently. Uh, the action figures do pretty well. You're talking about mostly $15 and $20, $30 items, and you see Pokemon everywhere don't just buy something pokemon because you think it's expensive look it up here's a great example this eight inch plush only sold for six dollars all in uh so that wouldn't have been a good buy at all but here's a 1998 vintage pokemon pokedex by tiger electronics so that tells us 21 years old 35 dollars right here's an action figure that sold for 40 here's some plush that sold for 25 all in so you can see pokemon really is popular it always has been always will be okay next my little pony i have sold quite a bit of this you guys saw i bought a lot of like 80 of these at one point i made i don't know that lot of 80 cost me 20 dollars, and i probably sold a couple hundred dollars worth of little my little ponies um there are fake my little ponies i know that sounds crazy but there are be careful i'm not an expert uh all i do is google if you ask me how to tell how do i know i'm gonna tell you to google uh how to spot a fake my little pony and then do your research from there okay so some of these again these three little ones uh, from 2003 sold for $37. Look, another one. This one sold for $30. This one sold for $12.50. This one sold for $16.50. Uh, that one looks expensive. Some cheap, eight. I mean, you have to be careful. Look, this one sold for $80. Don't know why. The Build-A-Bears do re really well. I've never done that well on them, but they do well. So My Little Pony, money in that. Okay, vintage and new age Tamagotchis. You guys remember these from the 90s? Man, I had one. Everyone had one, right? Boys, girls, the whole shebang. Um, I had like a tiger or something. Okay, so some of these vintage ones, $54. Look, $25 for 2014 Japanese edition. 2001 unopened Digimon one is up for, or sold for $179. Um, here's one, sold for $21 with a Pikachu color. Uh, here's another one. Look, some of these older ones. Uh, $50. That's an original one. Tamagotchi, $50. Uh, 
Uh, these are the little pets that you feed them, and hopefully they don't die. But I killed everything that I ever had. Okay, so uh, Tamagotchi. All right, let's move on to Little People. Little People is uh, number 11. And Little People is by Fisher Price, of course. They're little toys, little, uh, you know, mini figurines. And I've sold a few of these. These aren't home runs, but some of them, like this Beauty and the Beast look, 7 10 They got almost $11 for him. Uh, keep scrolling down. Little People Wheels Rev and Sounds Raceway. They sold for $30, $46 and change. Um, some of these little pieces, look, little camel sold for, uh, Nativity camel sold for eight and change. So there are some that are worth money. You do have to do your research on little people cause they're not all worth a lot of money, but some of them do have some value. Okay. So little people, number 11, staying on little people, Polly pockets, number 12, Polly pockets, just super expensive. The vintage originals from the nineties, really hard to get a hold of if you can get them. They're worth money. Look, this unsealed tiny collection from 95 sold for 48 bucks. Here's a grandma's cottage sold for 48 bucks uh, from 98. So these were mid to late 90s. Polly Pocket Magical Mansion from 94 sold for 63 and change all in. Uh, you know, little girl here. Look at look at these prices. I mean, it's crazy what some of this stuff is and what people will pay for them. So number 12. Number 13, the last one is Muscleman. I'm going to make it a two-part one because it's Muscleman or Monsters in My Pocket. They're about the same. This was one of my favorite toys. Uh, you know, kids, boys pl play with G.I. Joes and action figures, and I did, but I also love these. These were little. They were tiny. They fit in my pocket better when I was like a five-year-old and a four-year-old. You know, G.I. Joes are kind of big, and you can't really carry them around, but I could carry these everywhere. I probably lost so many of these in the grocery store with my mom. It's insane, but if you look, these little muscle men, this little guy right here sold for $13 for one little guy. These things are about two inches big, literally two inches uh, tall if you sit them on a table. Look, some of these rare ones, they didn't sell for $500. These are probably false. But I have seen some of these really rare 80s versions, uh, the ones even older than I was alive, um, 82, 83, 84, sell for $100, $150. Bucks. $500 is probably too high, but uh, they are worth some money. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Oh my God, I don't even know what is in that sold. I did not research this before. Add that to the blooper reel, guys. Uh, here's one, this little 80s uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man Muscle Warrior figure, $30. Um, here is some ones that sold for eight and 10 individually. Uh, so the muscle men do pretty well in lots. Um, pretty well again, pretty well again. But if we go over to, here's one that's really rare, the Satan Cross. Yeah, so that guy's 52 bucks. I don't doubt that was real, absolutely. But Monsters in My Pocket seem to do a little bit better. So we come down here and we see this little Tyrannosaurus Rex, $35. We see some that are cheap. They're five bucks all in, five bucks all in. But you get some here that are like 13 and 14. You get lots of them that are 170. Absolutely agree. It's a full set with trading cards. Here's a lot of 34 that sold for 43. So all really good, um, you know, things to pick up. So number 13, Monsters in My Pocket or Muscle Men. No idea what was in those solds a minute ago. Uh, some more lots, 25. Here's a lot, 440. That is probably one of the rarest lots I've ever seen. Uh, they've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So they paid what, like $40 a piece for those. That's pretty crazy. Um, here's a full set, went for a hundred bucks all in. Pretty good, pretty good. So with that said, number 13, I'll leave you to that one. These are toys. Now, if you pick up the sourcing guide below, when I come out with the new guides in 2020, I'm gonna have these 13 items plus another 37. It'll be 50 total toys and I'll break them down and what to look for. I'll put pictures and I'll also put approximate buy prices, sell prices, everything that I normally do for my PDFs and Excel sheets. So pick that up. Make sure you get this year's copy of all of them down below. It's only 19 bucks. And then you will automatically get 2020 sent to you uh, after New Year's. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Go make some money on some toys and comment below some toys that you buy and sell or that you want to share uh, that you've done well on that do really good for profits. The other good thing about these toys, most of them are very small, easy to store, easy to ship, lightweight, uh, cheap, and you can usually pick them up almost anywhere. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time.